Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about how the Vietnamese economy performed in 2021. Vietnam's GDP in 2021 grew at the rate of 5.2% on a year-on-year -year basis, even though the third quarter of 2021 registered a negative trend of 6% due to COVID-19 restrictions and a slower vaccination campaign conducted by the Ministry of Vietnamese Health. After the gradual easing of the restrictions and significantly faster vaccination campaign, an upturn was seen settling the growth rate at a solid 5.6%. The Vietnamese existing trade balance surplus grew from 1.3 billion US dollars in 2020 to 2.5 billion US dollars in 2021. Specific sectors such as agriculture, forestry and fishery had significant positive improvement in 2021 as compared to 2020 with a growth of 2.6% more as compared to the other sectors. Agriculture sector is composed of several types of products such as rice, sweet potato, sugar cane, soy, vegetables and legumes, all of which had a remarkable production growth. As per GSO, production growth in pepper, coffee, cashews, tea, oranges, mangoes, dragon fruit, pomiolos, lychees, longan and pineapple were as follows. Livestock as agriculture is considered a flourish sector. It sees the production of buffaloes, pigs, poultry and bovines. After the implementation of government's resolution in the whole country, forest production had many advantages. Akarcha wood's price increased and due to the fact that it is considered a processing material, the exploitation output increased. Planted forest area nationwide is estimated at 277,000 hectares, which is up by 2.8% from last year. Scattered planted trees reached 99 million tons, which is 3% more than last year. Timber production reached 18.1 million meter cube, which is 44% more than last year. And firewood production reached 18.8 million, which is 1.6% more than last year. Fishery sector along with other primary sectors reached high levels of production as well. The output reached to, to 2300,000 tons which is 2.8% more than the last year. Industrial production prospered too due to localities implementation of government's resolution aiming at foresting, safe adaptation, flexibility and effectively control of COVID-19. The industrial value had a growth of 4.8% in 2021 of which the manufacturing sector was 6.3%. Vietnam is one of the 10 members of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN and has become the EU's most important trading partner in the region after Singapore. Vietnam is EU's 15 trading goods partner and EU's largest trading partner in the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN in 2020. The EU's main exports to Vietnam are the following. And Vietnam's main exports to EU are the following. The EVFTA trade agreement between the EU and Vietnam entered into force on 1st August 2020. The agreements with Vietnam are the second, following to those with Singapore to have been concluded between the EU and the Southeast Asian country and they present stepping stones to a greater engagement between the EU and the ASEAN countries. For a long time, Vietnam and its partners in the ASEAN have not of been great interest to Italy, but things change in the last decades and political elites have looked for new strategic partnerships. Italy and Europe have put much effort in the interaction with the ASEAN countries. The institution of ICHAM in 2008 and the growing prosperous economic ties between Italy and Vietnam prove the extraordinary attention paid to its developing region. I said we will settle Italian imports from Vietnam rose in 2021 to almost 3 billion euros, fully recovering from 2020 decline and outlasting 2.7 billion euros in of 2019. Italian exports decreased from more than 1 billion registered before the pandemic to 800 million euros in 2020, but newly increased to more than 900 million euros last year. More precisely, most Italian exports to Vietnam in 2021 concerned the sectors of machinery and equipment, processed leather, pharmaceutical products, plastic products and knitting goods. According to General Statistics Office of Vietnam, 
Italy invested in 2019 alone almost 14 million US dollars in 16 projects. The cumulative total active in 2019 amounts 110 projects worth about 400 million US dollars. However, according to Asian Stat Statistics, Italy has contributed only 0.1% of foreign direct investment to Vietnam, suggesting a significant potential for new investments. It seems clear that Italy's recent approach to the ASEAN region represents the willingness to recover the delay compared to European partners and global competitors. Hence, the partnership can be the beginning to improve and deepen political, economic, and cultural relationships. Welcome to iCharm Channel, the Italian Chamber of Commerce in Vietnam, iCharm is an agency that brings a bigger business network of the Italian company and the Vietnamese company and also providing a customized experience and services to the company. Services of iCharm are divided in following main categories. The first one and the most important one is market entry services. The second category is providing the consultancy for investment. The third category is organizing business networking. So if you have any requests or for further detail, please contact us. We are here to help. Thank you. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại.